hello everybody we are back here on the hunter call of the wild and as you guys have probably seen by all of the diamond mule deer that people have been getting recently the mule deer are fixed so I figured we might as well go out and try to get ourselves a diamond or a good size rare because that's something we don't really have in our new lodge we do have one small or one or two small rares but nothing really that super nice so hopefully we can get ourselves a diamond I'd love it if we could because well, they look pretty crazy, and the only one that I've got was the smallest rack, I believe, so it would be nice if we could get one of the bigger ones. Hopefully, today will be the day. But that guy right there is a pretty good-sized mule deer, so let's get him down. That should do nicely, and it looks like he's actually going to die right in front of us. Did not expect him to run back this way not bad at all this guy's a pretty good size level four i'm not sure what he's gonna score but 270 and we actually that is wow that is not where i aimed um i don't know what happened there i actually don't know what happened there uh that was strange i mean that's a good looking mule deer though definitely happy with it but i don't know how it hit there okay now that's not exactly what i was uh, hoping to find but that is such a small mule deer Get that guy down for sure Along with this one All right nice we got a couple more of those down including probably the smallest mule deer buck I've seen in months Oh, and also I should probably real quickly clear something up that I think I actually forgot to mention in the last couple videos just because you guys give a bunch of suggestions on uh, what videos I should do it doesn't mean that it'll be the next video. I will continue to do them I will be doing your guys's ideas, but but every once in a while I will kind of put in a few other videos uh, of stuff that I've been wanting to do and Since the mule deer are fixed. I wanted to kind of grind for some of them, but this guy is really strange looking <laughs> I'm not sure Not sure what is uh, going on with this guy. He almost looks like a bull so Interesting for sure to say the least. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. No go away But anyway, yeah, as I was saying uh, I will continue to be doing the viewer requested videos I just wanted to real quickly mention that not every video is gonna be a viewer requested one We are gonna have some of my normal videos in between but I am going to be doing more viewer requested videos So continue to leave comments on suggestions for videos you would love to see and then when I find one that pops out and sounds like a good one to do then we'll end up doing it and I will credit you in the video here is this little buck right here 178.50 not too bad of a small level 3 mule deer all right so that's a little level 3 right there should probably get him before he gets away that's the best one here I think we do have one more right here and we might have got into a lung it doesn't look like it though that one will definitely bring it down though Oh, uh, hello there. A lot more shots than I wanted to put in that guy, but we got him down in the end, and that's really all that matters. So here is that little guy that we just completely butchered. 201 scoring. Uh, probably my least favorite rack of the mule deer, so not too worried about messing that guy up. This guy did not run far at all. And he scores 206, so he's a little bit bigger than the last one, but still not a giant. Very strange looking though, for sure. I'm not sure if we'll be able to hit this guy, but we'll try our best to get a shot in there. He's kind of tucked behind the other one. But I think we can do this. Wow, we actually got a hard shot on both of those. That went a lot better than I expected it to. Here is the small one, and oh my gosh, that is an absolutely tiny mule deer. Uh, not as small as the one we got towards the beginning, but still really tiny. And that one is a pretty average size, level 3. And what are you doing here, ma'am? Alright then, that's interesting. Did not expect to see that. Got a few decent mule deer over here. I believe there was a level four, and yeah, right there. There is a puma that's making it alerted though, so we need to try and 
Get it down as quickly as we can. There we go. Yeah, those ones also. We are in a tripod stand, so we're able to take quite a few of these, thankfully. That is four bucks down. Not bad. A couple more I'd like to get if we can. Don't know how possible it's going to be, though. Beautiful. Nice. We got five bucks down, so that's going to be pretty good progress. Thankfully, these two died pretty close together. This is a 206 level 3, so relatively small one. But this one right here, I believe, is our level 4. And actually, this is one of the other level 3s, so where did the 4 go? I'm not actually sure. Here is the level 4, I believe. Yeah, this guy is the level 4. 246. That's a good buck. Definitely a nice one. And we got stomach, liver, right lung, so decent shot on it. Definitely a wide one. Not too bad. Here is this little level three. That is the one we got that was broadside, which means there should be another one that we hit over here. And yeah, there is the vital blood. This one might have ran a little bit further because it was only a single lung from what I remember. So we might have to go a little bit further to get this guy, but yeah, he's just right up here. So he did run farther, but not too much farther, thankfully. 303's got quite a bit of power, so very good gun to use on these mule deer. This guy is a level 3, 192 on the score. Yeah, just got single lung. Not too bad, though. Okay, so that right there is an absolutely massive level 4, and honestly, I think that could be a diamond level 4. I don't remember what diamond is. I believe it's either 7 or 10, or 307 or 310. I don't remember which one of those, but that is an absolute giant mule deer. I really hope that guy makes diamond, because that is my favorite rack, and I've seen one person get a diamond with this rack, so it is possible that it could be a thing, but I guess we'll find out now. We actually got quite a few of them down there, so... I'll take that. All right, so we got a couple of them down here. In fact, looks like all three of them are down pretty close to each other. So let's go ahead and figure out which is which. This is our big one right here. I want to claim that last, so let's get this little level three first. 168 on him. About average for a level three. And this guy right here was really tiny. Yeah, 147. His tips kind of like hook in also. That's really strange. Very odd looking mule deer, but this guy is what we really care about. This is a wide boy right here. This very well could make it, I think. It's only a gold, but 307. Okay, so 314 is what we need for diamond. Good to know. I feel like this guy could make it if he had wider tip to tip spread. So if we got one that was really wide, that rat could make diamond, and that would be super, super cool. So that right there is another really nice looking mule deer. I think from now on, with the rest of this video, I'm probably only going to show off the level 4s because I plan to grind these guys for at least another hour or two and the video would be incredibly long if I showed everything. So I think we'll just stick to showing off the good kills like this guy right here. That is a massive muley and ooh, there's a couple more I missed before. Ooh, there is some antlers on that one. Try to get him down. It's actually a pretty good level 4 too, so that was a good little bonus kill to get out of that. Not bad at all. Here is the first one we shot, 259 on this guy. I don't know, I've still never been like a huge fan of this like squiggly tines on the back for this rack. I mean it's not bad, it's just not really something that I personally like. So yeah, we'll go ahead and move on from that and go to a rack that I actually do like which is the second one that we took down. I think this is actually kind of... Wow, that's a twisty one. Hold on. I've never had one this twisty. That is wild looking. Okay, I was going to say I really like this rack, but I've actually never seen one this crazy looking. Look how different they are. Now that is truly a good way to show off what true racks can do. That's wild. I've never seen a rack that crazy. 
Never before have I seen a rack like that. Uh, since when are water buffalo drinking here? Um, I don't think that's ever been a thing. That's interesting, to say the least. I expected to find mule deer, and instead I found water buffalo. Alright, so we got a pretty decent level 4 coming in here. I'm guessing it's probably a respawn from those two level 4s that we killed before. And I saw another one right there he is. So we got two level 4s. I'm guessing these are the ones that spawned in place of the level 4s we shot before. And of course he was behind, behind the tree when I shot this guy and I missed the next shot, so... At this point, we'll just try to get him down. <laughs> that didn't go nearly how I wanted it to. And here this little guy is right here. We completely butchered him, but it is what it is. Oh, we were just slightly high. That would have probably been a neck shot if we would have been lower. But either way, it would have only been a silver even. A level four that would have made silver. You don't see that very often. That's actually kind of strange. Ooh, that is a really big level four right there. Let's see if we can take that guy down. That is a monster. Uh, we're definitely going to have to move up a little bit further. But he is alert now. So we actually should be able to sneak one in right here. And yeah, that will do the trick. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this little guy right here. So he scores 245. And we did get a spine shot. Well, that's a little unfortunate, but either way we got him down. Be a good respawn. And there is another monster level 4 mule deer. Let's go ahead and get that guy down. I'm guessing this is probably the respawn from that big level 4 that we shot here at the beginning of the video. So, good to see we're at least getting a level 4 as a respawn. And here is the level 4 mule deer, 254. So it was on the lower end of that estimate, but that was kind of to be expected by the rack shape. But still a good one. Not bad at all. Well, there we go. We finally got a good respawn, and it is a piebald level 3 mule deer. Let's go ahead and get that guy down right now. I'm happy to see something finally coming out of this. I've been going at it for about two hours now. This is the first good respawn we've had. We have yet to find a diamond one or, well, anything even close to being as big as that 307 that we got, but that is pretty awesome still. Glad to see at least a rare. And here he is. That is a pretty small rack, unfortunately, but that's still really cool. Glad to finally get something out of this grind. Go ahead and 175 on that guy right there. Beautiful. You know, for some reason, I feel like this fur color is lighter. I feel like normally it's a darker uh, patches on them, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Either way, that's really, really cool. I'm glad that we finally got something out of it a little piebald mule deer buck. So once again, this location is the one that's delivering the big males. Unfortunately, I haven't really found too many level fours since that piebald, and the ones I did find were pretty small, so I didn't really include them in the video, but this guy right here is actually a pretty decent one, so he might have a chance of being good. And I just shot it with the 243. Uh, we're going to ignore that and take another shot with the 303. <laughs> can't believe I did that. I can't believe I shot it with the 243. And here he is. Here is that level 4 mule deer. This should be a pretty high scoring one. And yeah, 290 on that guy. Not bad at all. That's a good buck. Really happy with that. That's the second biggest one of the day. We had a 307 and now we have a 290, so... We're making progress. We're definitely making some progress. Well, this definitely is not a mule deer, but that's kind of cool to see. I can't believe I didn't see this guy during this entire couple hours that I've been grinding these mule deer. But that is pretty awesome. It's been a while since I've had a diamond teal, and they're almost always guaranteed. So if we can hit this, this should be a diamond teal. Well, we missed the first shot, and I really don't feel like spooking it off, so we're going to go ahead and get a little bit closer before we take another. All right, so it's at about 150 now. Should be much easier to hit. Can't believe we missed that. 
Oh my gosh, right as we were running out of breath. We actually caught that to hit. That could not have gone more perfectly. Now we just gotta wait for this guy to get over here. All right, well, here it is. It's about to shore now. We can go ahead and grab this little guy. It is a 4.60 diamond. Uh, kind of what I expected. Most of them are 4.60. I think max score is like 4.8. Maybe 4.7. I actually don't know completely. But yeah, not too bad. Been a while since we've got one of these, so I'm okay with that. Uh, we don't have a ton of diamond teal or ducks in the lodge as of now, so definitely cool to get. We'll go ahead and get a screenshot and move on to the next area. All right, so we are now in the trophy lodge. Unfortunately, could not find a diamond. The best thing that we got was that 307, which is still a monster mule deer, but definitely not what we're looking for. Hopefully we can end up coming across the diamond one very soon, but as of now, three and a half hours down grinding and not a single diamond in sight. But we did get the diamond cinnamon teal, and it's a pretty decent one. It was like 4.67 on the total score for it, so definitely not bad, but not what we're after. And then right here is the mule deer piebald that we got. Not too bad at all. I don't think it's as big. Yeah, it's not as big as the one that we already had, but it at least makes it so this somewhat matches. We have two piebalds and then the albino in the middle, so that definitely looks decent. Definitely happy with the way it's turning out, but hopefully we can get our diamond soon. We do need a diamond mule deer for this lodge, and I'd also like to eventually get a diamond moose and roe deer since those have been fixed also. So we'll try to work towards that, but for now, we've got ourselves a piebald mule deer and a diamond cinnamon teal. But with that being said, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. It has been a lot of fun going for these mule deer, unfortunately, just have not been able to seal the deal on a diamond one, but hopefully we can get that done shortly. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do post daily videos along with five live streams a week. And if you haven't already, be sure to like the video because it's a massive help in getting this video recommended to other people. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!